And hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Really Loud Game. Hold on. Five. There we are. Ah. Okay, that's a little better. <laughs> welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. So, given how I broke the universe last time. <laughs> Time to start a new one. My usual orbit. Difficulty is hard. And start. Oh boy. <laughs> Can't believe I broke the game last time. So I, I've been playing some Kerbal Space Program outside of just the live streams. Um, just because, you know, I love this game. It's awesome. I really enjoy it. <laughs> so, but, um, yeah, I'm getting a little bit more experienced in doing things. And a better head on my shoulders about um, exactly how to set things up so that they work properly. So what I'm going to do right out of the gate is set this thing up. No monoprop. And let's add in a scientist just straight out of the box. That's what I'm going to do. Science! Because, you know, science. And I want to maximize every little bit of science I can get. Do So, four, I believe, maxes out what I can get from any of that stuff. Crew report. Yay. EVA report. Take store. Drop. Another EVA report. Grab, board, recover. So this will get me a fair amount of science right out of the gate. Yeah, see? 14. With um, yeah, a little bit extra here because of that mission. And let's get this stuff with its corresponding funds. There we go. Collect even more science now. I know, I know, this is getting a touch absurd, but, uh, well, I figure this is probably a good way of going about it right off the bat, especially given the, um, <sighs> difficulty in even collecting this stuff right off the bat. And grab those four, and recover vessel. Without actually even launching anything. <laughs> Another nine science. Sweet. Okay. Now let's actually design something properly. So, let's see here. Um, let's see, for the time being, just these two? Yeah. Because that will work well with the Mark 16 parachute. Given I don't have fancier parachutes right now. And let's start off with the hammer. Actually, um, stack decoupler and then hammer. And let's get some fins in there, because, you know, fins are always good. Check. And do, 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 make sure everything else is good. Yep, okay. Now, proper ship needs a proper name. Uh, for those of uh, for those of you who get the reference, <laughs> uh, so anyways, um, yeah. All right, onward to victory. Okay. So now, big question is, full throttle. That can't do SAS, of course, and. Three, two, one, let's go! Crew report. Observe the goo. Huh? Breaking lots of records here. And how high am I gonna go? Nope, not high enough. However, let's see if some trajectory altering is in order here. Because, you know, I've got velocity. 
might as well see if I can do any sort of trajectorificating, alterificating of trajectory altificating. Five, four. Whoa. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Flying manual is a pain in the rear. Come on, come on. I will kick in the parachute pretty soon here. I just want to see how if this will work. Yep, it's worked plenty. Whoa. Okay. Fire the parachute again. Let's hope that... Whew. Okay. That could have been really, really, really bad. <laughs> oh, my word. Okay. I'm alive! <laughs> uh, right now. And time accelerate. Do -do -do. Doing that time accelerating thing. Do -do -do. Four, three, two, okay, and... Yep, there we go. Good last little bit here. Anything under six meters a second is usually pretty good. So if I'm landing with landing gear, I tend to like it a little bit slower than that, even. Okay. Goo. Goo is observed. EVA. Take. Store. Drop. Report. Grab. Board. Crew report. Check. Maximized science! Alright, let's see how this has worked. And the verdict is 23 science. Not bad. All right, now survivability will help me get even more science even faster. Um, yeah, escape the atmosphere is the next contract. And then... Okay. So I need more oomph than this thing can provide for my first go. Uh, let's see here. Also... Drag those down there so that I can put these up here. And let's also not forget... Ah, hold on. I will want a stack decoupler. Don't want my thing going down too fast. Three should do just fine. Regular Reliant engine. Okay. Make sure that things decouple in sequence in the way that I want them to. Only need one of these. Cleared out a lot of these. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Is there anything else I want to add? Um, I mean, it's nice to have one of those on, but it's hardly... Yeah, I don't even think it's all that important. All right. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. The service bay is actually superior to have for these things. <laughs> so that it looks as weird as possible. Check. Okay, and 7.7 .7 tons. How is the weight differential on this? Yes, he's still going to go nose first. That's fine. I'm not too stressed about it. Oh, um... Just for good measure. Not that it really makes a difference. Okay, Postulio 2. Save and launch. Um... I just realized a problem with my design. Hold on. Recover the vessel. Yes, 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 yes. And... Come on, come on. Load, 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 load. So, go down. Center of mass, center of lift. Looks just fine there. Nothing going on here. So... Three. Three there. And... Yes. Good, 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 good. Okay, that works just fine then. Um, four actually. 
three always never seems like enough. There we go. Okay. Um, I'm still not terribly worried at this point about proper about um S about uh, stability assist. Okay. Now. Three, two, one. And... Almost. Okay. Also start leaning a little bit. Doesn't need to be a lot. That's not the direction I was thinking of, but hey, it works. All right, and jettison that. That should, yep, that'll definitely get me into, whoa. Oh, okay, <laughs> I'm okay. 18, 19, crew report it. At bay. Open that up. Let's get all the science. Striku one. It's going to be somewhat annoying. Mystery goo two. Mystery goo three. Mystery goo four. Okay, four mystery goos. That'll get me all the science from up there. Close that up, and... Yep, okay, I'm starting to come back down. Awesome! Here we go! Hmm? Hmm. Is this thing actually bottom-heavy? That would be rather interesting if it turned out this thing was bottom-heavy. Wow! I think it is bottom-heavy. That's... It's mm, kind of bottom heavy. I uh, see that's weird. When it wobbles like that, it tells me that it's 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 not bottom heavy. But look at the aerodynamic forces. No, uh, oh, okay. I don't know. Yeah, I guess it is or something. Uh, anyways, parachutes. That'll do it. Okay, and let's see here. What are the other things that I've accomplished? Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Good deal. Lots of good stuff. Time warp. You oh wow, I am I actually gonna land on um land? <laughs> I think I'm landing on land here. That's tray unusual. <laughs> Was not expecting that. <laughs> Getting those open and slow me down something fierce. Hm, no kidding. Four and a half meters a second. Oh, dirt bikes, 1247. Hello! Because <laughs> I can actually see my chat for once. Go fig. So, dirt bikes, out of curiosity, do you actually have a dirt bike? And, whoa, oh, duh, time acceleration is still on. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. I did do my EVA thing. Take, store. This is probably redundant. Oh, flying over grasslands. All right, then. I guess that means this is a grassland. Store and EVA report. Yep, okay, got that. Climb. Board. And crew report. All right. Maximize science. Let's see what I got. And the verdict is... 37. Not bad. Okay. So, general rocketry. And, of course, I am, like, fractional points of science away from it. All right. Okay, so, let's see here. 
better engines and stuff. Let's pull all that. So the trick is... Let's hope and pray I can get this right. That's the trick. <laughs> um, hmm, thinking. I'm thinking here. See, these things I can get a lot of science from, but they're really, really heavy. Now, this thing does seem like it's bottom-weighted. You know, I think I can help that along a little bit. Yeah, I could put him here. But then I've got excess drag force on... Yeah, so I need to put the parachutes above the center of mass. But as much as possible, the center of mass needs to be <laughs> below the middle of the craft. Oy. Design details. Well, this should still work. Because technically these parachutes are just barely above center of mass. Okay. So, let's see here. There's that. And fuel tanks. I want to see if I can get enough to get me into orbit. I think... Well, let's see if I can do it at four. And, of course, i got to watch this stuff, because getting into orbit is a real pain in the rear. Okay, this thing is the most efficient for orbit right now because of the high vacuum TWR. Okay. We'll have a fair amount of tonnage to... Oh, that's right, I don't have this. Uh, stack decoupler. Put up and... Thumper. Okay, that works. Now... Or let's see. And yes, right there. Okay, good. Significantly below. And then from here. Okay, good. That's still working. Center of pressure is still below center of mass. Hmm. Still thinking, still thinking. I think there's some stuff that I also want to get on that I'm completely forgetting about. Um, but um, but um. Yeah, but it's heavy. So, I can probably do away with this parachute. Yeah, I can do away with that parachute. I should still be okay. Okay, hold on, let's see... Yeah, okay. Let's bring these back up because I'm not going to have quite the same torque on the top of this thing anymore without that parachute. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Double check to make sure I'm not missing something, which I'm sure I am. And okay. Blatantly obvious test says I'm not missing anything. So be Posturio 3. Save. And, okay, this is where I want to start having an actual pilot. So let's get... Yeah, let's get Jeb in. I like Jeb. He's cool. Save. Launch. And pray. <laughs> All right. SAS on. Full throttle. Oh, slight staging adjustment. And three, two, one... Here we go! Actually, hold on. Settings. Notch all this stuff down to 10%. And come on. Never find a good audio setting for live streaming that I feel also works. Come on! Oh, for crying out. Single percentages. Fine, nine. And give that one more try. I can get you. Ha! Ah, ten! Victory! Well, I have two X anti aliasing? Well, let's change that. Jeez. A much higher anti aliasing. My computer can definitely handle it. At least for the moment. <laughs> Alright. So. 
We are going up. We are going up further. And up further. This is good. And two, one. Okay. I'm not interested in orbiting at this point. I just kind of want to get to space. So let's start slanting this away. And let's lock it in there. And wait for the Apo to catch up. And disengage SAS. Okay. That should do it. Around. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay. I noticed my rocket was not turning in the direction I wanted it to. You are staying here for now. And let's do this a little bit harder now. 15, 16. Okay. Do it. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. This way, 90 degrees. Okay, there we go. Last little kick. Disengage SAS. Gonna cover a lot of records. Oh, 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 look how she's tumbling. Yes, she's so bottom heavy. This is awesome. I designed her right. Whee! <laughs> okay, SAS. And disengage. Yeah, I am pleased. I am very, very pleased. Okay, oh, and seven of these. Nothing I can do until I hit space, so... 39, 28, 17. Speed records, 10, 50, 11, altitude. Great, and I'll have another altitude record in just a moment here. Eight... Nine altitude record. Okay. Crew report. Materials bay. Massive sciency stuffs. Mystery goo. Mystery goo. Mystery goo. Mystery goo. And close that up. Yeah, let's see here. All right. Maximum distance record. Maximum altitude record. And the escape the atmosphere record. Sweet. Okay. So the next priority upgrade is going to be uh, the astronaut training center. Because that will allow me to do EVAs. So the idea is, is to get in orbit, do an EVA, and then pull science from all this stuff. So And then just drag it back into the into the command pod so that when I jettison it will still be here and I can jettison the actual science modules making my life oh my word so much easier however don't quite have that yet so all right and a little bit of time warp I will hit atmosphere in just a moment and physics warp because, hey, why not? Oop, oop. Yeah, she's drifting. Let's lock for a quick second. Uh, disengage. Oh, that is so awesome. Can't believe I designed this thing to actually be bottom heavy with one of these. Oop, okay, now that's the time where I cut. Okay. Slightly off kilter, but not enough to be a problem. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Still looking good. Still looking good. Uh huh. And wait until 300. Nope, oh, actually, wait until the G forces are eased up. Gauge parachutes. Alright. That'll do it nice and good. Sweet! It is working. It's working. <laughs> okay, time accelerates. Okay, I think I'm 
Highlands. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm Highlands. Uh, parachute's open in just a moment here. Yep, there they go. And ah, excellent. Around five to five and a half meters per second. That works perfectly. Hmm. Almost landed. And cut the time acceleration. Engage SAS. Okay, good deal. Now let's see if. Yeah, not stuff that only happens on landing. Okay, awesome. I'm down. Now. Okay, EPA report. Good. Take, store, board. Crew report. Take that and cover the vessel. Okay. Let's see what we got. All right, 57 science. That that is going to go quite well. I actually just realized that I don't actually have my chat screen showing <laughs> on the thing. Hmm. I will um, address this here. One moment. And it's loading. Still loading. I dislike how long it takes to load. Okay, there we are. Do that. Give it a second. So, yeah, and I got this thing set up in a bit of a funky way to show the chat channel. I'm... That was not what I wanted. That was what I wanted. Okay, excellent. Now... Whoa! Okay. There we go. Oh, so much better. All right. Now, for science. This is an important one. Fortunately, that precludes me from getting any of these, but not for long. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, that's not what I wanted. That's what I want. Okay. Um, let's see. Test at the launch site. Test landed at Kerbin. Test landed at... Aww. Mm. You guys suck. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll test those two and then figure the rest out. Test the Thumper SRB and the Terrier liquid fuel engine. Okay, so probably the best way to do this... Also going to be mildly suicidal. Um, engines. Uh, thumper. Oh. <laughs> um. Hmm. I'm just thinking about the optimal way of doing this test. Oh, this this will be interesting. Um, let's make sure that I have an emergency safety measure in place. Because, you know, why not? <laughs> don't care about what Kerbin's in there. Don't care about the name of this thing. It's a test vehicle. Let's see what we can see. Okay. Oh, awesome! Ah! Twist over a little bit and... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on! No! No! Seriously? Um... Like, there we go! Jeez! That was nuts! Turn off SAS. <laughs> um, 
Okay, I already got the Kerbin's Shores. Oh, wow, that was that was just <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. I mean, it worked. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. And that's technically a splashdown. Let's see if it counts as. Ah, that's Kerbin Shores. EVA it's. Whoa! EVA report. That's. Oh, yeah, okay. Um. Lime? Hmm. Alright, um. Recovering McKerbin. That was a little weird. <laughs> that was a little weird, but also kind of awesome. Recover this one. Ah! Just need a little bit more science! Just a little bit! Oh, let's see here. Okay, test that landed. Test that landed. Alright. Come on, I just need that little smidgeny bit more of science. <laughs> All right, what which engines does this want me to test? Um, the thud and the decoupler. Okay, so it wants me to test these things. And the Rocco Max brand decoupler. Oh, cow. Um. Just for absurdity's sake, let's do it that way. <laughs> All right, launch. And, nope, 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 get everything at once. Because, yep, three, two, one, and, yes, successful tests. Recover vessel. Just need a little bit more science. Like, err. Ah. Aha. Ooh. I get that one. And that one. And this is going to be interesting. <laughs> All right. Um. This is going to be another let's add a parachute thing. Wants me to test the flea, right? Let's close those out. Uh, flea and launch stability enhancer. And flea. And then launch stability enhancer. Let's put two of those on. Also drag this down a little bit, because hey, why not? All right. Oh, um. Yeah, let's make the parachute into its own thing and. All right, this will give me the science I need. I hope. <laughs> All right, full throttle and test fully, test tip. Okay, of course, you know, it's not like I haven't done this before. Boom, boom, and that will give me the science I need. Sweet. All right, now that there. Ah, I will be back.
Apologies, folks. Girlfriend returned returned home. Must pay attention to for a short time after when she returns home. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm doomed. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, that is done. Now, ah, 46 science. I have the science. So, advanced rocketry is. Let's see. Uh, basic science will help me get more science. Advanced rocketry, however, will help me get into orbits. And that is the most important thing right now. So, check. Oh, stuff to recover here. There we go. Okay. That's convenient. I'm. Well, first off, that, yes. And. Oh, choices. Ah, not fair. Um. Uh, uh, what is the hammer SRV? Which size is that? Let's see. Hammer SRV is. That one. I am probably not going to use that. So, did they add more? I'm pretty sure they added more. <sighs> wow. <laughs> I could get a hold of that. That would be kind of insane, because that is one heck of an SRB. Uh, <laughs> all right, then. Okay, well, I'm still going to go with this one. So, swivel liquid fuel engine at launch site. Yep, because I'm going to be using that anyways, because that is an awesome engine. All right. Let's get to building stuff. So, first off, new. Add our Mark One command pod. Make sure the parachute is there. And, um... Heat shield, just in case. Also, stack decoupler. Add a fuel tank. Oh, actually, before. Oh. Right, right. The monoprop. Don't need the monoprop. So, let's move that out. What I do need, though, is. Uh, weight should be up. Sorry, wait a minute, hold on. No, no. With how this is going to be... Well, no, with how this is going to be reconfigured, it actually makes sense to do it that way, so... Service bay. Open that. I just need one. Get it centered-ish. It's not going to be perfect, unfortunately. And then... Yep, okay, that should do it. Close that. And yeah, I don't have any sort of ladders or anything, so... Um, actually, since I don't have ladders, let's rotate that, so that'll make it a little bit more accessible when I'm EVAing. Alright, now... Two of those. Terrier engine. Stack decoupler. Drop the engine. Yeah, four should be good. Four of those. Swivel engine, I believe. Yes, swivel engine. And the orbit carbon objective. Okay, good. And... Awesome winglets of awesome. Three, four. Perfect. Um, actually, last piece. Um... And I am going to want some help getting up into orbit. Their SRBs kind of make sense for this, but not really. That. That. And... Oh, over mass. Dang it. Oh, actually, I'm cutting that whole mass thing pretty tight. Um, hmm. Wow, I didn't realize I had cut that so close. 
Let's get the aerodynamics in then. So let's see. Low as possible. Check. Okay. And then the aerodynamics for this guy. Then okay. Okay, good, 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 good. That works. So let's see here, yes, hand heat shield, and there's the pod and all this stuff. Okay, so I've got enough for one of these teensy tiny fuel tanks. Alright, just staging. Let's see here. Hmm. So. Oh, and by the way, I am always open to audience recommendations on naming of sh of craft. <laughs> so, anyways, let's see here. Mass. Yeah, I really hate that mass limit. Mass limit is very frustrating. Okay. This is also definitely going to need a pilot. I already had Jeb doing stuff. Let's do have Valentina do stuff. So, save and launch. Let's hope this works. I really want to get into space. Full throttle. And okay, lift off in three, two, one. Oh no, my TWR is like one. Ah. That did not go according to plan. All right, recover vessel. Minor adjustments are needed here. <sighs> cover that, cover that. <sighs> okay. Um. Oh, I did, however, complete that contract. See if there's more contracts available. <laughs> See if there's a really big contract that I can do. Nope. An easy one. Hmm. Yeah, this is not going to ever be accomplished, and it's not enough to be worth accepting at this point, so. <sighs> No, 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 no. SRBs are really heavy. Now that I should be able to do. Okay. Minor adjustment time. Um, engines. How heavy are these? I would need to free up a fair amount of mass. Oh, boy. Well, let's drop this. Drop this. And seven. Yeah, let's drop these and replace with three of these. Ah, wonderful. My headset cut out on me there for a moment. <laughs> Drop that. That in there. Actually, let's bring this up to four, because otherwise the symmetry is not going to work very well. Maybe that's not the best place for that either. Okay. Two of these... Right there. Ah! Dang it! Alright. Pull that. Cut its tank size in half. There we go. That works. And then I can also 
Can I? Can I? No. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. Let's get these winglets in here. Hopefully. Good. That does not push me over mass. And then. Okay, that doesn't push me over mass either. I've got a smidge more mass to work with. Oh, right, the radial decouplers, right? Oh, uh, no, no, it's the stack decoupler. That's the thing it wants me to test. Okay. Oh, actually, hold on a second here. Um, engines. 275 at ASL, and that's 280. 270. So, hmm. Yeah, engage them all at once. Don't need as much TWR as I can get. Alright. Oh, hold on. Okay, so. I have asked my girlfriend what I should name my ship. Apparently, we are naming it Dib. Uh, FYI, <laughs> we've been watching Invader Zim. <laughs> so, anyways. And, yes, Valentina is not dead. I did not kill her last time. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's see how this will work. SAS, whoa. Yep, yep. Totally lift that off right now. Okay, unstable on the launch pad. And ease that up because I don't want to be going too fast. And start getting a good gravity turn in there. Cut the SAS. Alright. Take a look at the aerodynamic forces involved in what's going on here. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that, that all seems pretty healthy. Good deal. Huh. Alright, still got marginal amount of fuel ease up on the thrust. I don't want to go too hard on it. Almost out. Okay, it's time to stage. Now. And SAS on. Sharp angle. Probably didn't even need those fins. Alright. Yep. This is working. This is working. I might, might, emphasize might, repeat emphasis on might, actually be able to make it to orbit. Yes, orbit. <laughs> Hopefully. We'll see. Cross his fingers. Five, six, seven. 68 9 Okay Our turn If I had maneuver nodes this would be dramatically easier However I don't have maneuver nodes This will not be dramatically easier <laughs> Line it up there. Yes, I know. I'm technically going down. That's a okay. Focus on Kerbin. Come on, just another four or five hundred delta V. I'm pretty sure I got this. Get this a little sharper. 
So I'm in space, not yet in orbit. Okay. Cut throttle. Yeah, I can I'm definitely gonna make it into orbit. I'm like a hundred delta V away from it. Okay, so time accelerate. A little faster. Just want to get really close to this apoapsis. Okay. And line up to it. Full throttle. And start easing. Okay, let's control my thrust. Five and Alright, there we go. 75 and 77. Not bad. I've done better, but not bad. I'm in orbit. This is good. Alright. Now... Space Center. Because science, it's totally a thing. Also... <laughs> recover that. Jeez. So wobbly. Um, sometimes I can get a return to Kerbin thing. Okay, so... Oh! That is totally doable. That was incredibly... That is actually incredibly doable. Um... Yep, okay. So, let's go back over here and... Fly that. Alright. Through the materials bay, did I already? I've already gotten a materials bay from here. So then, in that case, the goal, should I choose to accept it, <laughs> um, is mainly going to be getting these EVA reports over the water. Time accelerate. Let's see if that'll do it. Airport. Nope, still water. Duh, duh. Yeah, I want to get the shores. Er, or something. Duh, duh. Just passing. Ah, eh, grassland, that'll do. And... Keep spamming. Ah, shores. There we go. Okay. So what I want to do is actually wait until I'm about here. And then expand this out to 250 kilometers. Come on, come on. And, all right, stop. Yay. Mountains, sweet. Board. Let's see here, where am I? Still got some ways to go, so when I'm in the desert, basically. Okay, that should be over the highlands. Get as much science as I can. Oh, that's still grasslands. Huh. Where's highlands? Should be highlands. Okay, I'm guessing highlands then would be about here? I'm hoping. Let's find out. Highlands, good. Okay. And then, let's get into the desert. Oops. Okay, that's nicely into the desert. And... Still says Highlands. See, that's one of the problems that I've got with this thing sometimes. Um, okay. Almost ready for the burn. Okay, here we are. Burn time! Need to figure. Oh, nope. Other direction. Other direction. 
Mm-hmm. And lock it in. Wait, wait, whoa! Ah, no, I had it right the first time. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Let's try this again, shall we? There we go. 9, 1, 2, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 2, 3, 24, 25, and just a little bit over. Excellent. Okay, let's try this again. EVA. EVA report. Ah, no, I don't want mountains. I want desert. Give me desert. Give me dessert. And desert. There we go. Okay. Now I can properly do all this stuff. Time warp. More time warp. Do, 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 do. Okay. Observe materials be. Open that thingy. Observe the mystery goo. Crew report. EVA. Of course, I can't see a bloody thing. EVA report. Take data, store experiments. Okay, I am totally not doing this in the dark. However, I do need to make some minor adjustments to my orbit here. Like, for example, getting my periapsis down to 40. 50. If there's 50. 40. 42, 41, 40. Okay, there we are. Eh, slightly less than 40, but that's fine. Alright, now a little bit of time warp going on. I need to get within the sun's light. Okay, perfect. Now, I need to roll so that I am good. EVA. Release. Engage this. Over, forward, up, down. Good. Okay. Collect data. Remove. Collect data. Remove. Back it up. Over. Grab. Board. Okay. I'm basically good. I have a little bit of unleft, unused fuel. All right. Well, I mean, I still think I got it pretty good. Don't have that much unused fuel. And this is going to deorbit me. So, let's see. Do this in as, as, as neutral a trajectory as I possibly can. Derp, derp. Uh, just so I'm having a little bit of fun while I'm doing it. Uh, uh. Woo! <laughs> All right. That was fun. Okay, um... There we go. Okay, now. Time warp until I get... Let me just double check to make sure. Yeah, that would have been a silly one for me to forget. And hitting the upper atmosphere. Now, also, perfect time to get an EVA report from the upper atmosphere. By the upper atmosphere, for the upper atmosphere, from the upper atmosphere. <laughs> and all this science. 
Uh, this will be good. With the, yep, okay. Alright, so, and I'm just the capsule with a um, heat shield down there, so just time warp this. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm accelerating. I'm accelerating. I might hit 2,500. Come on, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Give me that 2,500. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Do it. Ah, Dang it. Yeah, let's take a look at what the orbit's doing. Yep. That's what I expected. It'll be a little bit of time before it properly uh, does its thing here. Yep. Yep, things are heating up. Things are heating up. All right. This is going to be a very, very soft re-entry, though. I've got a pretty uh, shallow descent, descent angle. Hmm. I'm actually going to hit it where I want it to. Nice. Jason is pleased. And, okay. Coming in good. Get a crew report. Oh, over the mountains. Nice, that's a tough one to get. Keep that. Won't be able to pull it until I land, though. Mild annoyance, not a problem. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's... Oh, oh, um... Uh, I need to slow down a little bit more. Thankfully, I'm, I've got some time. Okay, almost, almost. Six, five, okay, now! Yes! I did it! And I did not break the parachute. Whew, sweet. What did I get for that? Ooh, two science! A whopping two science. <laughs> and a decent amount of... Uh, Credits, or whatever the heck those things are. All right. And coming down. Almost landed, and perfect. All right, let's time warp this thing. And touching down in just a moment. Yeah! All right, nice job. Okay, EVA it. EVA report. And take, store, drop, EVA report, climb, board, crew report. Ah, 15 total! Science experiment -y things. Let's see how much science that translates to. I hope lots. I want lots. Give me lots! Ah, 102! 90 science in total. Okay. And Valentina has level 1 now. Okay, so something that I learned... Um, oh... Oh, I can upgrade the fuel system just straight up. Oh, man. The choices, the choices. <laughs> well, honestly, the fuel system stuff is more important at this point. So, And just be selective about what I want. I want the fuel ducts. I want that fuel tank. There we go. Just those two. The rest of these I'll get later. Because now I upgrade the launch pad... And none of these are about moon. You guys just suck. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, you guys just kind of suck. I mean, fine. I'll do moon on my own. 
So, what I want to do here is load the auto, the auto saved ship. <laughs> um, ditch that. Open this thing, and I want two. Uh huh. Then I also am going to want two of these. Now, the real trick is getting this thing to moon. However, that's made a lot easier since I've got the 140 ton mass limit, external fuel ducts, and these huge ass fuel tanks. So this should be sufficient with a terrier. Just me running up against the part count. That's all I gotta worry about. Then... Two... Two of those with... A swivel. And let's see, this is probably gonna be more than is manageable, but let's find out. Okay, so far so good. Bunch of Reliance. Oh, shoot. I want to square away one more part of... And of course, it's not going to let me do it easily. Uh, unfortunately, that means the way to do it is... Setting up the Mystery Goo the old-fashioned way, which is overall going to cut into my Delta V. I am not happy about that. And the winglets. <laughs> um, let's see, get all four of these in there. Oh, crap. I'm realizing something else here. The fuel pipes, okay. Yeah, the fuel pipes. Gosh darn it. I'm stuck with two anyways. What if I do three? Actually, three might... That might work. That just might work. Let's see here. Have them all draining in there. That'll let me put nose cones on as well. And that gives me my one part back so that I can properly... Streamline the craft. Okay, thirty parts. Ah, that's right. Shoot. I have to drop the nose cones and go with these winglets. Okay, let's see. Proper winglet placement. Yeah, three. Okay, so all three of those fire at the same time. That should fire as well. Those will jettison. When that jettisons, that fires. Well done. All right, folks, so I will be finishing things up after I give this thing a launch. Oh, uh, rotate that for easier access in space. And let's see here. Um, anything else that I am missing? Mm, nope. All right, we will name this the Dib 2. Save. So, yeah, Valentina got the last one, Jeb gets this one. All right, let's see how this works. Nighttime launch, this will be using. And three, two, one.
Okay, begin turn. This is gonna be slow though. Slow and clunky. Come on. Come on. Disadvantage of using those particular engines. Okay, and... Drop those. Okay, now I can start getting a proper gravity turn. Wait for the angle of attack to keep up. There we go. Much better. Would have liked a little bit more thrust on this stage, but work with what I've got. Long as it gets me to moon. So when I get in orbit, I will take break then. Okay. Rotate this to something a tad more comforting. Okay, and sharp angle time. How much time have I got? 45 seconds left on that stage. All right. Still kind of going, still kind of doing things. <laughs> I mean, this thing will definitely reach orbit. It's just a question of whether or not it will reach moon. Okay, let's start to level off. Center on Kerbin. Okay. Next stage. Do not want to use much fuel from this stage if I can help it. this going. See if I can get this apoapsis up to about 75. Okay, nix that. Almost in orbit. Just need another 200 or so delta V. V. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. Okay. Let's engage thrusters. And I should start seeing there's my parry. Okay, awesome. That'll work. In orbit. All right, folks. And next time on Kerbal Space Program Moon Adventures. To the moon! Moon!
Mooning. Moon! <laughs> Alright. I will see you next time.